In this AutoCAD video, we're going to create a 3D solid model of a modern upholstered sofa. And the idea here is that the inside is upholstered and then the outside has kind of a wooden shell, so it's a bent plywood or veneered structure, with some metal legs at the bottom. So our final product will end up looking about like this. So in a new drawing, we're going to be working in two different viewports. We're going to start with the left uh, viewport as front, and then the right viewport as a southwest isometric. Down at the bottom, make sure you have on ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking. All right, so we're going to start out with a line, and in the front viewport, we're going to make a horizontal line at 84 inches. We're then going to take two lines up from each, or one from each end, really at 29 inches. And what we're doing is making the profile of the sofa. Okay, so we got this shape. And then we'll use object snap tracking to hover over the corner, come in three inches, and snap. And the same thing over here. Once we have that, we could simply trim that bottom line and erase the verticals. So you'll get something that looks like this. I might uh, find it useful to make a few copies at this point, so I'm going to make a copy of these three lines, and I'll make one, two, three I think should do it. Okay, so now that we have our original profile down here, what I'm going to do is a J for join, select all of these, and then I'm going to do an offset of 0.25 and offset this line out. Then I'm going to draw a line going straight across, and then I'll come in with extend, select that line, and then this one so that they meet. I can then just trim that end off. Doing this because I want this line to be straight across, not angled. So once again, line going straight across, a simple extend, and then we can trim. Once we've done that, we could do a fillet with a radius of 2, do M for multiple, and we'll just pick these corners to give them a nice rounded look. There we go. All right. At this point, I'll just join this whole thing together one more time. And that'll give us the basic structure of the plywood frame. Okay. Then up above, what I might want to do is go ahead and make the back panel. Okay. So I could do a J for join right now. Join this all together. Do an offset. And offset this out and then I'll just come in and delete that inner one. And I'm just doing that because I want this one to be big and cover the back. I'll just delete out that original line. So now this will be the same size as the biggest line here. Then I can do a line straight across the top. I can do a fillet with a, fillet rather, with a radius of two. Do M for multiple, and I'll pick these bottom corners so they match. There, there we go. And I'll just join that together as well. Okay, so now we have the basic wooden frame and the wooden panel that goes across the back. Now I'm going to want to create the upholstered back portion and the arms and the upholstered base. So here, I know that this will fit in here very nicely, and I just want the back to come up a few inches higher than the wood. So I'm going to create a line in the middle, and I'll have it come up maybe to 34 inches. And then I'll just cr create a, uh, a long line here. I'll use move and move it down, and then I can extend these lines 
and then we can use fillet with a radius of 2 down here at the bottom so they all match. And then up at the top we could use a radius of 2 or perhaps maybe even 3 if you want to make the corners nice and round. Once we have that, we'll join it all together. Okay. Then up at the top here, we'll create the profile for the arms and the base. So once again, I'm going to do a line from this midpoint straight up, but this time I'll do it 31. I will create a line that's just a little longer than I need it and I'm going to move it straight down from midpoint to endpoint. Then I'm going to use extend, select this line, enter, and let those two go straight out. Okay. At this point then I'm going to use offset and first I'll do a distance of two inches from here in and here in and then I'll do offset a distance of maybe three from here up. Okay, now I'm going to do fill it with a radius of two on these outside lines. There we go. So that those corners match. And then here on the inside, maybe a radius of one. There we go. I can trim the line across the top. And if you want to, you could give those a little bit of a, a rounded look as well. So you just fill it with a radius, something smaller, maybe a half inch. And for multiple, there we go. There we go. And then I will join all of these together. Do join one more time. There we go. So now we have all of the profiles for the basic shape of the sofa created.